I think I figured out what's going on. I don't think we have a mutant queen. I'm now thinking we have a Lang worker. Okay, so what do we know about this hive? What seemed like a queenless hive for a few weeks. There was no visible queen as far as I could tell in several inspections going through this hive. I started seeing eggs and I thought maybe we have a little queen. I found that little mutant queen in there, but I don't think that was a queen. I think that was just a sick bee. I, I don't know, because she's no longer in there. That bee is gone. I put a frame of brood from Balboa right here six days ago with a lot of open eggs and open larvae thinking that if they need to make a queen, they can use those eggs to make a queen. But now in six days, uh, they have not even started any cups. They have not built anything up around any of the eggs. And in fact, when I look into the cups, I'm seeing more eggs in those cells. So in six days, there's there's been no queen cells built. So I don't think they were, uh, for some reason, they didn't think they were cleanest. They, they just look listless. They just look totally down. So there's larvae in those cells. These were just eggs six days ago. Now there's larvae in there. Definitely not making any queen cells. But something I noticed over here, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it on camera. This was the egg side. This was all eggs six days ago. And there are multiple eggs in the cells now. A lot of these cells have been relayed because that did not come from Balboa. She's not laying two or three uh, eggs per cell. So I think we have just a whole bunch of laying workers in here. There's something else interesting. There is a queen cell and inside it I see a pile of eggs. So I pulled this queen cup off of the frame. It looks like they were trying really hard to get a living egg in there. Maybe they were dragging the eggs over and putting them in there? I've never seen that before. But that's that's what was going on inside the queen cup that they had made. This just seems like a queenless hive, but I don't, you know, like where are the eggs coming from? The only thing I can think of is laying workers. Bottom line is, this hive, there's something up with this hive. So I'm gonna try something today Hopefully it'll work. So while I was at the breeder picking up the nuke today, uh, we got to talking about VSH Queens, and uh, we thought that might be a solution to the laying worker problem. And what I'm gonna do is put this queen in here and see how the bees respond. Now, if they, if they immediately attack her, I know that there's a problem. There's probably another queen in the hive. If they surround her and start hanging out and they start fanning around her, I will know that they really, they really like her. And this is probably what they need. All right, bees, let's see, let's see if you like this queen. I'm just gonna put her here and see what they do. definitely interest. They're not balling her up. They're not stinging. If we start to see some fanning, we'll know that things are really good. This is like the most mellow queen introduction I've ever seen. I'm gonna come back in about an hour and see what happens. It has been about five, six hours, and I was expecting some fanning. I'd say they're kind of indifferent, which to me says they must think they already have a queen, right? 
Like, if there was a queen in here, I would think that the queen would be up there trying to attack the cage. You're not attacking anything. Alright, so I'm just going to leave the queen in the cage tonight. Come back tomorrow. All right, it's the next morning. Let's see if this queen is uh, being ignored or if they're looking like they like her. So it's kind of the same story. There's three or four bees hanging out with her. And everyone else is pretty indifferent. And they did not accept this queen earlier today. Or I had her in there for about 24 hours and there was no, no excitement whatsoever. So I took her out, took her away from the hive for about four hours or so. Now I'm gonna put her back and see what happens. And I'm gonna just put her right on there and see, see what the bees do. I mean, they, sh they should come right up and greet her. So they are just indifferent to her. This would indicate that, uh, you know, they already have a queen in there, right? If they're not coming right up to greet her and hang out. But honestly, I've been through this hive, a, I don't know, six, eight times now frame by frame and have not seen any queen. So we have uh, laying worker laying eggs and pheromone level of the hive is, is satisfied. So one thing I learned about laying workers was to, to try and fix it is to add a frame of open brood from a laying queen from another hive into this hive, which I did six days ago. And I thought if they were queenless, they could make a queen. And if they had a laying worker, then the, the open brood pheromone would, uh, would, would suppress that laying worker. It did neither. They did not make a queen, and the laying worker laid right over the eggs that were in the frame. So my next attempt here is to try introducing a queen. And they do not seem interested in her at all. I think I'm gonna give her another night in the cage. All right, I'm gonna close them down for the night. It's now been overnight. She's still alive. I'm still just a little bit nervous about what's going on here with this queen because I'm, I'm just nervous that they're not gonna accept her. And she's a really good queen and I wanna be very careful about this. So I learned a new way to try and introduce a queen into a colony that might have a laying worker. Because I believe this colony has a laying worker, the pheromones of the laying workers are kind of overpowering the pheromones of the new queen because she hasn't really laid anything yet. I think that the reason they're not really just accepting her, fanning her, excited about her is because they believe they have a queen in the hive because the pheromones of the workers that are laying are creating, a, you know, that smell of a queen. So what I need to do is to get her pheromones to overpower the laying worker pheromone so that they will accept her. The only way to do that is to get her laying and then get that scent into the hive. So what I'm gonna try and do here, is something I read about online, this is not my idea. I have a little five frame nuke that I'm going to put on top of this hive. It's got a screen on the bottom of the, of the nuke so that bees can't get through the screen. I'm gonna fill this up, I'm gonna shake some bees in here, take a couple frames from my, my strong hives, put them into this little nuke, release the queen into this cage. It's like a, it's gonna be like a cage. I'm gonna seal it off, and then I'm gonna sit it on top of this box. Let her start laying and leave it there for like a week or so, and then her pheromone smell will fill up this box. It will travel down into the hive, and hopefully by then they will be raring to go and want to meet her. And then I can just take the frames out and replace a few of these frames with these frames and she'll be in the hive. So that's what I'm going to try next because I want to get her out of that cage for one but I also I want to try this like slow release introduction. So let's get her out of the sun. It's a five frame medium nuke. I'm going to set this right on the hive and there's screen separating the hive from the nuke. Now I need some bees for this. I luckily had a few frames of drawn comb, which will be great to, for the queen to start laying into. Uh, this is from an old super. There's a little bit of honey on this, a little resource. Drawn comb for her to lay. 
So I need two frames from, I think I'm gonna take them from New Package Super. And I'm just gonna steal two frames with the bees. I'm gonna put them right in to this upper nuke. Another solid nectar frame. All right, I'm gonna put this in there. Okay, I'm gonna shake this frame in, and I'm probably gonna get stung. All right, so now what do we have here? We've got two new frames. These, these are all drawn frames. So we have two brand new frames, two full frames of bees, and then I shook a frame of bees in. And they are much more, much more up and about and active on that queen there. I should take the cork out and I'm gonna release her into this little nuke. All right, queen is here. So the bees in here will be sealed so that they can't get out. Okay, they're all fanning in there now. So we got a five frame nuke with three frames of drawn comb, two frames of bees with a lot of nectar and stuff. And the queen is gonna start laying. So we want her to start laying eggs and get that brood smell throughout this nuke so that it goes down through the screen into this hive and then that hive will accept these bees down into them. And then I'm gonna put the lid on so that they can't get out. So that means I need to cover this hole. All right, bees can't get out, queen can't get out. That is just a box, an inescapable box for those bees. But they can breathe and they have tons of food. So they're good. All right, it's been 48 hours since I put the queen in and the bees were, uh, they're locked in here. They have, not, they have not been out. I'm prepared to find a dead queen in here, but I'm gonna open them up and see if the queen is out of her cage. And if so, I'm gonna let them out through an upper entrance because they've been locked in now for two days. I don't know if she's out of her cage yet. Why haven't they got her out yet? 